what is going on guys it's your boy catharsis and i'm back with another quick tutorial about rdbm 21 and fifa 21 this is actually going to be more of an excel tutorial than anything else uh, because jay had a question he asked is it possible to increment all pairs attributes by three from excel and import it back to rdbm 21 so the answer is yes it is possible um and it's quite it's not that complicated it's complicated to explain it uh, by writing it again so i decided to make another quick video on the topic maybe someone else finds it useful so here it is uh, i'm just gonna go back to squads that we imported from the previous video on the tutorial for uh, rdbm 21 and how to import icons and everything so here are the exported txt files from rdbm 21 i would just make another copy of the same one that we want to change so if you want to change attributes for by three or any other number doesn't really matter um, here uh, on this txt file i would just make a copy and now that we created the copy we will just uh, open it in excel it doesn't really matter we can open up the first one or the one that we want to change it's really up to you and when it's open you just press window key hold it and then the left arrow it's easier you don't have to do it but it's really easier uh, for me and then uh, it's gonna place it on the left side of your uh, screen of your monitor and you can just go back to player copy open it with Excel and do the same thing but just hold the right arrow key uh, and the Windows key and it's gonna place them right next to each other now what you want to do is you want to delete you can just copy the agility let's say if you want to change agility uh, delete the whole row just paste back the agility on the top so rdbm knows what the attribute is now we're going to create a formula that will add three on their attributes from the left side so the formula is you're gonna write this on in your excel you just uh, place the equal sign write sum open up a bracket and then you will click on the first one it needs to be the same one on the left side the agility the first um, attribute here plus three close the bracket and there it is it's gonna say 82 as you can see, as you can see basically what we're doing we're summing we are uh, adding three on top of d79 so now we just need to do this but as you can see it's staying the same what we want to do is delete these little uh, dollar signs from k and 2 because those dollar signs make it an absolute value so when i uh, went and grabbed uh, to uh, kind of multiply the the formula it stayed the same because it was referencing the same uh, cell basically with those dollar values and now if i do this it's going to move it one step uh, one cell uh, below and as you can see we will get the values that we want to get so let's say in, in the eighth one now it's 88 and here it was 85 so it's working as we want to and now you can just double click here so just here uh, until this plus sign appears double click and it's just going to expand the formula until uh, there are so actually we don't want to do that because we have these empty ones um, so I'm just gonna undo this we have these empty ones that have the value of one and then if you would like if you would import someone else um, then you would uh, they would also have the multiplied value so it's up to you you can do it but if not just hold this plus sign and uh, just scroll downwards until you get to the last value that you want to change because basically when you double click that plus it's going to increment the formula to any cell that really has any any value in it if it was empty cell it would stop there so it works if uh, you have just one table or something like that but in this scenario uh, it's there we go so we just will do it up to here and as you can see so guys, I noticed one thing while I was editing the video, I'm adding this after recording it the first time, um, I noticed when I expanded the formula up to the values that we want to change, I did not 
return zero is below. Um, as you can see, agility, I left blank after adding those values. So just make sure, I, I, I haven't tried, I don't know if it's gonna work when, the, when something is left blank, but you would just like to return it to zero or one, whatever it was beforehand uh, for those cells that we don't wanna change. So continuing now uh, to the rest of the video. It did what it's supposed to do. Now, uh, if you would like to do it for uh, more attributes, uh, you would just need to do it one by one because, you know, it's not really applicable for hair, hair color, curve, I mean curve it is because it's an attribute. So you would really need to do it one by one, but it's not, as you, as you saw, it would really be just deleting the values from any attribute that you want to change from this side. Just uh, create that formula, as I said, equal sum, click on the cell here that you want to add the three to, the value that you want to add, and then delete those uh, dollar signs from, from the K2, which is referencing the cell here, which is here, as you can see, K and number two. And when you delete the dollar signs, it's not gonna uh, use it as an absolute value, and then you would just expand it to the other cells. It's gonna, Excel is pretty smart. Uh, it's gonna do what you want it to do. It's gonna move every formula to the cell below and it's going to calculate the values so basically that's all guys i'm just looking at these these might be some um dummy dummy players or something like that so uh, you you always want to check out if you if you know something is weird but as you can see they have these uh weird values those might be some created players or something like that but uh, the, it will work either way. Um, just check it out when you do the formula and you should be good. I mean, it worked for them as well. They're having here four, here they had one. So uh, that would be all guys, just uh, implement, um, save this out. And then when you uh, move it back into um, RDBM, it's gonna have these values incremented by three. And as I said, you can use any other value if you want to, uh, you can, you know, basically do it however you want to do. So guys, I hope uh, you find, find this helpful. Uh, it's a short tutorial, but still I, I think uh, it can help other some, someone who wants to do something like this and give you a little bit of Excel knowledge. Excel can be really helpful in situations like these, so it's definitely, definitely worth knowing it. Uh, if you found this helpful, uh, smash that subscribe button. We're now at 20, we want to move up. Uh, like the video and share it and comment down below what else you would like to see um, and you know anything else if you if you have anything in mind thank you guys once again for your time have a great rest of the day or evening and have a great life bye bye